So we'll start off at the entry point to the sim where students would land when they first come in and over from the landing point is the main part of the island where the gameplay happens. At this point you'd be checked to see if you're wearing the HUD and if not given it. So let's put the HUD on. And it automatically on first wear would open up and show you the game story basically the narrative that you're playing to. Also when you turn the page this is still in sort of working phase. A couple more pages to add to this but it has gameplay and what all the aspects of the HUD do so let's say we click on this other information page and that'll bring up game hints um, unfinished version at the moment as you can see but those two these two buttons here are the information and the game hints buttons everything that you do is driven through the HUD within the game so not wearing the HUD basically means you can't play the game these are the buttons here for each of the levels and if you try to go to a level that you're not currently at you'll get this little warning icon let that fade off and then we'll teleport directly to the first level you could have walked here um, if, if we turn around and have a look that's where the landing pad is and there's still that option to walk to each of the levels but in terms of speeding up gameplay I wanted to teleport directly to each one as you go through the archway you get the narrative for that level uh, the story and this is based around the legend of Unuku who was the god of rainbows and all the tasks that you have to do are sort of wrapped around that sto this particular story Down at this particular level, this is sort of like the, the interim between being off-world and going into the actual mythical world where the game is played. So as you walk through this part of the valley, there's sort of real-world hints to the tasks ahead. So here we're looking at the very basics of a sentence. A sentence must have a verb. A sentence ends in a full stop. A sentence starts with a capital letter and through, throughout the game I've used um, the butterflies as sort of like a, you know, iconic helpers so they appear through different parts of the game and they bring you two sentences basically one talking about the, uh, the grammar side of the sentence and the other with an actual sentence that's there to help you so once we're into the portal area you touch the magic sphere to open a portal and this portal will take you up to the game level Once we move up here, you're, you're playing as individuals at, at this lower level. The students can um, sort of collaborate and, and talk and go through, walk through the valley together. But once we get into the actual playing level, into the mythical part of it, you're on your own. And again, up here we've got a, a butterfly giving some information, sort of reinforcing what's already been said in the task panel where it told you you need to touch each of the stones to perform the tasks. This is the only part of the uh, viewer interface that we use where uh, the input field for the text, everything else is driven through the HUD to sort of keep it in game. I wanted to keep people out of the viewer as much as possible or out of the interface of the viewer as much as possible so there wouldn't be any sort of teaching that had to happen around that aspect. And as you perform each task there's a, a, a visual sort of um, confirmation that, that task has been completed correctly and in terms of the, the, the play aspect you were rebuilding the rainbow of Uenuku so that's what's happening here visually. Just done a quick breeze through the seven colours there. 
little bit of video trickery and we're now into the last one which will show you how this level gets completed. Each of the tasks is sort of like scaffolding on the one before. We we'll look over here we can see that the final the rainbow has been completed and then you'll get a completion notification for that level and automatically teleport it to the beginning of the next level. I said all of this run through the HUD. At those individual levels you're just working on your own basically but once we're down here again you can work as a group. As you can see now we can use that access button to get back to level 2 whereas we couldn't before because we've completed level 1. And here we start off level 2 same way you've got you know, the next legend and of course you can flip the page over and have a look at the task. Not completed yet because I'm still working on some of the aspects of that level and I want to use images from that. One of the extra things I've done from level 2 onwards is to put in uh, some reinforcement work for the level that you've just been through. So we're starting off at level 2 with what we're going to be talking about, uh, prepositions and um, verbs and objects. But of course we need to get across the river for that portal and this is where the reinforcement task is from level 1. So Anuku, whose level we succeeded with before, is now going to produce a bridge for us if we confirm that we know what we've been taught at that level. It'll produce a bridge that'll allow us across to the portals for level 2. And then we can move on with the second level. And basically this repeats itself through these six levels that we'll be playing. And that's where we'll end the video, at the portal section of the second level.